Hello traders, welcome to the Forex Boat educational session. And in this video, we will be talking about the trend lines. Yes, the simple tool, but yet extremely powerful. And there are many misconceptions of how to apply, how to use the trend line, what is the correct way, what is wrong way. So in our video, we will try to understand what type of trend lines there are. Is there the perfect way to draw a trend line? And of course, how to use trend lines for trading. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you can do that right away. Click that subscribe button and notification bell in order to follow all the videos we are posting in regards to the Forex education. This is free and amazing. We will be sharing a lot of interesting setups and tools unique to everything else you have seen before. So let's get started with the trend lines. I'm not going to look for the perfect setup where we see the perfect example. We will just take the current price action on the euro versus dollar and just we'll be looking at the chart starting probably with the type of trend lines. This is a very interesting topic as there are quite a few of them, not many, but still. First off, we have the simple trend line, which is connecting two points but how to draw it correctly. For example, in this setup, we are connecting only the first two points after the price printed the higher high. But is this the only way we can use the simple trend line? No, we can use it also to connect the last point before the price printed a lower low. So this was the lowest low prior to the new higher high. So here, this is the point. And we can connect these two points as well. Another way to draw a trend line is to connect as many points as possible, at least three. So in the first case, we're connecting two points, the first two points, then we're connecting the first and the last point, which is higher high. And yet again, higher high before we printed the final wave. For example, if we move chart right to this point, all right, our trend line would look different because I would need to connect these points because this is the last higher high. For example, imagine we are at this stage in time. So I would use this trend line to draw this high. Not, not like that because this is not the original high. This is the highest point and it hasn't been broken. So this is the point that I will be using to connect my trend line. And if we look at it, we can also use it in trading. And there are multiple ways how to apply it for your trading, which we will talk about later in this video. So this is a simple trend line. Obviously, we can try to do the same in the uptrend. For example, we're taking the lowest point and connecting the first two lows. It could be like that because this is the low as well. Or it could be like that, depending on how you interpret the wave. For example, I would take probably this one since this is the point where the moving average has been broken, yet another very powerful indicator. So it shows me that the trend is changing and I am using this correction. So not this, the very first one, which could be actually the first, but it could be this and could be this. You could use a lot of them to see how it fits your trading style. So what we're using it is for, for example, as the resistance area, this could be also the case. The second scenario I will be using it is connecting two points, which is the lowest low and the low of the previous wave prior to the price producing higher high. Now it, you can argue that I should place it at a different spot because this is the lowest point before price produced a new higher high. So I could apply even like that. But why I didn't do that is because we had the resistance here. And if I mark it, this is the level of our resistance. And it's important to check high time frames for the breakout. If there is no breakout, then this is actually the highest high. So let's have a look at the forward time frame. Clearly no closing, clear closing above this level. There was a spike produced yet price failed to close above the spike. On the one hour chart, I would not use this low. I would be using this, this level, this right there, or even this one. Originally it's this low prior to the new higher high. And this shows us that price 
has cleanly rejected it. So this is the way how you can use it. This shows that there could be a weakness in price incoming. So this is one of the ways how you can use it in trading. So here we have a simple trend line showing us that it could be used as the resistance. And speaking about the resistance, there is also a support and resistance trend lines, which are not kind of a simple trend lines, because with the simple trend lines, you're using it when there is a trend. But what to do if there is no trend and the market is choppy? Let's have a look and try to find this kind of scenario where market is ranging. For example, here, it's kind of ranging condition. If I zoom it, you will be able to see that there is no clear direction. In this case, you can use support and resistance trend lines. For example, this would be our support trend line, and this could be our resistance trend line. We can use multiple of them, like apply it here, apply it here. This is a range trading. So you just use your imagination, use, but make sure to follow the rules that you set for how to draw the trend line for yourself. Now I have several trend lines and already I have something interesting. As you can see straight away, we can see that there was a break below the trend line and the moving average as well. So this is the way it could be used because when you have both breakout moving average, especially the 200 period, which is very popular, very common, this gives you a clue that the price is likely to continue going lower. Besides, we have never tested the resistance trend line price remains below the resistance trend line and the next point here is the rejection of the trend line this is a clearly a bearish sign after this bearish candle and especially considering that it closed below the previously made low we can use it for trading for example as a sell signal so shorting and this could be a pretty nice and fast profit. Don't try to make as much profit as possible, but stick to the strategy. It's better to get quickly in and quickly out. This is the way to trade. Don't try to hold it forever unless you're a swing trader, of course, and using weekly and daily timeframes for your analysis. And yet another example of the simple trend line, support trend line, is if we use it like that. So choppy market, multiple trend lines. Now here we can see rejection. This would be the sign actually for buying opportunity. Although we can see that price remains below the moving average and the trend is bearish. It would be reasonable to wait for the breakout. Why not? So we see there was a breakout after the breakout price pulled back, providing again an opportunity because this was a confirmed breakout below. But if you're not sure, wait for four hour closing price on this. Let's just have a look. The four hour candle would be closing right there and this could be the selling opportunity. But we see that there is another trend line, support trend line, which has been rejected. So this would add some doubts, obviously, and it's better never enter the trade if you have any sort of doubts. So we wait. There was a breakout and then wait for the correction. Don't try to get into the market at the lowest point. And the correction could be the previous level of support. So right there, there was a support which has been broken. This is the breakout. So as long as you see this candle closing below the both support trend lines, this is the selling opportunity. And this could be quite a fast profit this way. Now we are left with an average price trend line, which is not that common as well. And how to use it? Let me show you. We need to find the support and resistance levels once the market is trending, because when it's choppy, it's no use. For example, we have clear resistance. It must be obvious that the resistance is there. It's not like you're looking for it, but it just must be obvious. And this is the resistance. Now we need to find the support. The support is clearly there. We can mark it. This is the support area. After that, we need to see the new higher high to, in order to apply the trend line. So here we see price produce new higher high and it's time for our trend line. Obviously, it's better to use multiple trend lines. For example, you see the triple rejection and which one of them to use? Always better to use the highest one. I prefer the original one, the very first that occurred. So I will apply it like that. And this is my average price trend line. 
Imagine that we don't see what happens in the market from this point onwards. So let's start and see what happens in the future. Well, clearly price didn't test it. Maybe based on our previous analysis, maybe this will be the case. So if I go to the daily time frame, we can see that, that we connected support and resistance, but we can also use other highs. For example, the last high, it's also, it depends on how you want to use it because there are no right or wrong ways to do that. You just have to experiment and see what happens in the market. Look guys, now here there was a rejection of the trend line, average price trend line, which could be used for trading as well. This shows you that the daily candle failed to close below. There was a spike and then failed again to close below the spike. It, this is the rejection. And if you would see the break to the downside, this means that the trend could be changing. Now, what we see today, just look at it. Clean rejection of this average price trend line. Price rejected it, then spike above, but failed to close above the previous spike. And we see that this could be the corrective move to the downside. So this is a very, very simple way how to use the trend line and how to profit with that. And based on our previous analysis that we where we used the uptrend trend line and connect, connected two lows right there, this is our resistance, which has been rejected. And now we might have this massive downside move based on the daily time frame using the average price trend line and the simple uptrend trend line. Perhaps here we can use also the resistance trend line. And if you see there was a triple rejection, why not to use the oscillator, whichever you prefer. It could be RCI, it could be MACD and so on, CCI perhaps. So let's apply, for example, the RCI typing RCI in indicators and strategies, choosing the default settings. Let's see what happens. Look guys, we are having a bearish divergence. All right. So this shows you also that the market is likely to go down. But for this, I would also use now the support trend line connecting at least three points. And here we see this breakout, bearish divergence and here we go, the move to the downside. And yet again, as a target, you could have used the average price uptrend trend line. So these are the ways how to use and apply the trend lines in your day to day trading, in your analysis, simple yet extremely powerful way to do that. And if you have any questions, post them down in the comments below. And of course, click that subscribe button not to miss any of the future videos. And if you like the videos, why don't you smash the like button? Thank you all for watching. Until next time.